The European Union is a group of 27 European countries that form a political and economic union. The purpose of the EU is to create a single economy for all of Europe and to allow freedom, security, and justice without internal borders. It was created shortly after the end of World War II to foster economic cooperation between European countries with the idea that economically linked countries would be less likely to go to war with each other. The EU has an organized structure, complete with its own government and legislature, and every member country has to follow its laws and agreements. At the top of the EU's politics is the European Council, the highest strategic level body that sets the priorities and general direction of the Union. The European Council is made up of the elected chief executives, either heads of state or heads of government, of the 27 member states, as well as a president of the European Council who is appointed by the Council for two and a half year terms. The full Council meets during summits at least four times a year, and is responsible for setting EU policy, resolving disputes between member states, and negotiating treaty changes, as well as serving as the collective head of state of the EU. While the European Council sets policy, the actual executive branch of the EU's government is called the European Commission. It is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the European Union and has 27 commissioners, one from each member country, that are responsible for different policy areas. One of these 27 is the President of the European Commission, who is appointed by the European Council and is the head of the EU's executive branch. Besides carrying out day-to-day -day functions, the Commission also has legislative initiative, meaning it is the only body allowed to propose new laws and bills, which then have to be passed by both of the legislative bodies. Moving on, one of the two legislative bodies of the EU is the Council of the European Union, which is separate from the European Council. It consists of a government minister from each EU member state, and has different configurations for different policy areas. For example, the Agricultural Council will meet with the Agriculture Ministers of each of the 27 member countries, while the Education Council will meet with the country's Education Ministers. The Council of the European Union, as half of the EU's legislature, is responsible for approving or disapproving proposals from the Commission and overseeing intergovernmental areas of the EU, and has been compared to an upper house of a legislature. The second half of the EU's legislature is the European Parliament. The Parliament is a body of 705 members of the European Parliament, or MEPs, who are directly elected by citizens of the member states every five years, on the basis of proportional representation. Each EU country has a specific number of seats in the Parliament, based on its population, and is then divided into constituencies. The Parliament's job is much the same as the Council's, to pass laws and budget proposals, and it has the authority to pass a motion of censure on the European Commission. The Parliament is led by the President of the European Parliament, who presides over debates and is elected by the MEPs every two and a half years. Besides these four, the European Union has three other institutions that help it function. These include the Court of Justice of the EU, which is its judicial branch based in Luxembourg, the European Central Bank, which is the central bank for all countries who use the Euro, and the European Court of Auditors, which is responsible for externally overseeing the implementation of the EU budget. In the end, these seven institutions, along with several other supporting offices and agencies, make up the structure of the European Union, representing over 440 million people across Europe.